You were only uh, 25, weren't you? I mean, everybody knows that you had the most astonishing contract that Hollywood has ever provided. Yes. Ever, ever. Not, not financially speaking, in terms of authority and yes. rights. Financially, it wasn't extraordinary in any way at all. It was extraordinary in the, in the control it gave me over my own material. You had total control. Total control, so much so that the rushes, uh, which I, I perhaps should explain to, to uh, mm. that are, yep. are, are the pieces of film that are shown at the end of the day's work, uh, as I'm sure you understand, and uh, are always checked by everybody in the studio, department heads and the bankers and uh, distributors and everything, long before there's a rough cut. But according to the terms of my contract, the rushes couldn't be seen by anyone. And indeed, the film couldn't be seen until it was ready for release. I got that good a contract because I didn't really want to make a film. Well, you better develop that. And you know, when you don't really want to go out to Hollywood, or at least this was true in the old days, or the golden days of Hollywood, when you honestly didn't want to go, yes. then, then the deals got better and better. In my case, I didn't want money. I wanted authority. So I asked the impossible, hoping to be left alone. And at the end of a year's negotiations, I got it. Yes. Simply right. because there was no real vocation there. My, my love for films began only when we started work. What I'd like to know is where did you get the confidence from to make ignorance. a film with such... Ignorance. Sheer ignorance. You know, there's no confidence to equal it. It's only when you know something about a profession, I think, that you're timid or careful. Or How does this ignorance show itself? I thought you could do anything with a camera that the eye could do or the imagination could do. And if you come up from the bottom in the film business, you're taught all the things that the cameraman doesn't want to attempt for fear he will be criticized for having failed. Yes. And in this case, I had a cameraman who didn't care if he was criticized if he failed, and I didn't know that there were things you couldn't do. So I, anything I could think up in my dreams, I attempted to photograph. You got away with enormous technical advances, didn't you? Simply by not knowing that they were impossible, or theoretically impossible. Yeah. And of course, again, I had a, a, a great advantage, not only in the real genius of my cameraman, but in the fact that he, like all great men, I think, who are masters of a craft, told me right at the outset that there was nothing about camera work that I couldn't learn in half a day, that any intelligent person couldn't learn in half a day. And he was right. It's true of an awful lot of things. Of all, uh, you know, of, ev of every, of, you know, the, the great mystery that requires 20 years uh, doesn't exist in any field. Mm. And certainly not in the camera. 